Well, greetings for color fans and welcome back here to Metarog's channel and today I'm uh, very excited to do this support video slash contest entry for my very good friend uh, Roger Wheatley aka Crime Alley Comics. Um, Roger and I have been on YouTube about the same time. I think I'm a little bit longer than he has uh, but we've been uh, friends since way back um, uh, and uh, in fact, uh, he texted me uh, a little while ago. This is Thanksgiving evening. And, uh, you know, we wished me happy Thanksgiving. And I told him, of course, that I'm very blessed to be his friend. And uh, I, I really am. And um, that's why I want to do this support video for him. Uh, besides the fact that he's got some cool prizes that you should probably do an entry video for as well. But I'll leave that up to you. So what does um, Crime Alley Comics wants us to do, you may ask. Or maybe you may not. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. <clears throat> so, he's having a Road to 1,000 Subscriber Contest. As I'm taping this, it's currently at 988. Even my less than uh, subpar <laughs> uh, math skills... Um, lets me know, well, well, lead me to the conclusion that he only needs 12 subscribers to get to 1,000 sub, 1, subs. Now, I bet you anything that there's at least 12 of you out there that are watching this that are not subscribed to Crime Alley Comics, and trust me, you will want to subscribe to Crime Alley Comics because he has that great, um, you know, cave, that great Crime Alley cave full of Batman collectibles. He's also a big Star Trek fan. And he does, you know, hauls here, here and again as well. So, this is my entry. This is what you got to do. This is the, the requirements here, shall we say. Uh, I hope I got this right, Roger. First of all, it's open worldwide. So, no matter where you are, Timbuktu, Turkey, you know, Netherlands, Australia, wherever you're at, he'll ship, okay? And that's not cheap. So, um, that's that's... Thank you for doing that. I didn't leave anybody out. He does want you to be a subscriber to his channel. That's, you know, par for the course, right? Be 18 and above. I think most of us are out there. This will end on December 4th. So as uh, this is, will be coming out tomorrow. So you have a little more than a week uh, to get in your entry. All right. And there are three prizes. There's two comic uh, lots and then there is a dark side figure. And whoever, you know, he'll pick the winner's. Uh, whoever gets the first, whoever's the first winner he picks will get first choice, etc. As of now, I don't think there's too many entries. In fact, this might be the first or second. So you have a good shot if you make an entry here, okay? But you do have to make a video, all right? Thus, this is, that's what this is, and obviously a video that you're watching. And post a link to your entry video into one of his contest videos. He has two of them. I will link both of them below. You can link either one, right? The second one kind of just explains a little bit more of the requirements. Um, and what the main thrust of it is he wants to show five comics from your favorite character. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I'm going to show a little bit more. And they're not all comics, but I hope Roger will accept this as the entry. But I think there actually there probably are five comics in here. I don't know if I finagle it good enough. So here's the first one I wanted to show. That is Captain America 100. Uh, very special to me because this was sent to me as a Christmas present by my friend Lawrence Everett um, a couple of years ago. Uh, obviously, I've completed, um, not obviously, but I have completed my Captain America run from 100 to 454 plus the annuals, all that. Obviously, because the, he, I'm a big fan of this character. And, uh, and this was, of course, is kind of a pricey one, and I'm kind of a cheapskate collector. Um, but I wanted to buy it from him or trade it from him, but he wouldn't hear of it. He just sent it to me. And it is a beautiful Kirby cover. It's a continuation of the story from Tales of Suspense, which I do have the, those issues as well. Story's not bad, but of course, the first, you know, Silver Age Captain America self-title. You know, it was in Tales of Suspense. So uh, very, very happy to have this. So that is number one. Uh, the second one is this. Now, it's not a comic, but there are comic panels inside, Roger, so I think it counts. This is the Captain America Mead folder from 1976. It actually, this co actually came out before the comic, so this image that you're seeing is actually on the uh, one, one, uh, Captain America 193, but actually this this first this first came, this came out before the comic so uh just love these mead folders uh yeah i don't have them all in frame here sorry about that uh, but this marvel comics group up there and i have those on my wall here i took it down because 
uh, you know, <laughs> Kirby here, and oh man, this is just so cool. Uh, yeah, I had to, I had to, yeah, here's like the panels here behind it, you know, like, uh, actually this panel is from an earlier shoot, but inside are also some panels. So there are comics, there are comics in there. And this is also not technically a comic, it is a fanzine of sorts, but, uh, I did a trade with my buddy Silver Knight Kyle, and this is a very, very early John Byrne art in here, start, uh, there's Stan Sakai art in here, and this image actually is of John Byrne of Captain America, and there's other uh, images inside from Byrne, and oh, really, really happy to have this, this is, this is so high up on one of my want lists, you know, as far as being a Byrne fan and a Captain America fan, and here they converge, so uh, thank you again, Kyle, for letting me essentially rip you off and get that from you. I totally appreciate it. Now, so we're now going on the road here, or at least the, uh, on the Medicaid for show the other collectibles. Those were three, I do believe, right? So uh, another one I wanted to show that I think is just fabulous and as one of my five is that Treasury, Bicentennial Battles, uh, Captain America, it's, it's all new and it's all Kirby. And it also show inside is also in the, shows the uh, Captain America from the revolutionary era, like as, as he might've looked uh, from the Western era and from a space uh, shot, so future. So just love that thing. Um, I picked that up for a buck a long time ago and it is in pretty good condition. And then here is another one, Captain America 111, Steranko uh, issue that I got in a trade with uh, Mike Knight Tiger Comics. You see a, a trend here, how all of these have, not all of them, not, I guess not the meat folder, but all the others have come from the community. That's how important it is, you know, to build relationships and friendships because, you know, you enrich each other, right? And um, here as, as we are, the day after Thanksgiving, when you see this, you know, I'm just very thankful for this community and all all the people in, included in it, right? Uh, I hope all of you did have a blessed Thanksgiving day, by the way. So uh, the Stranko art in here is just so crazy good. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's just a shame he didn't have a longer run because it's just stupendous. Maybe one of the best Captain America ever was a Strank. And I did want to show a couple more here, Roger, I hope. Uh, that is a needlepoint Captain America. It was made by my nephew, Gabe. And uh, I commissioned it to him, and I just love that thing, obviously. That's on my wall. And lastly, this is what I'll show, and that is that Kirby Litho sent to me by One-Legged Books uh, sometime back. That's what Kirby would use in his later years when, you know, he didn't have uh, the time and the uh, acumen to uh, do uh, sketches at cons and so forth. So he would bring that and sign it over to people as necessary or as they requested and that is it that is my entry my support video for crime alley comics uh again uh, a good friend and someone that uh you know has been in this community for a while and uh has just been a uh, a staunch supporter uh, of this community as well had him on my uh five-year 55 year on YouTube, 50 years as a collector stream a couple of weeks ago. And I think that was his first stream. Uh, and I was very honored that uh, to be uh, the recipient of his first appearance on a live stream. So again, I will leave a link to those um, two contest entry videos below as well as his channel. So you can uh, subscribe him easily. Please, let's give him up there. Let's show the community. Let's show how this community it pulls together, how it you know, supports each other. Let's get him over to that 1,000 before that December 4th deadline. And uh, so he can, you know, just say, hey, listen, I've, I've made 1,000 subscribers, which, you know, it's it's just a milestone that I remember when I reached it, I was just ecstatic uh, at, the, at the support and the love that I get from this community. And uh, it is more important uh, than perhaps many of you might think. So again, Roger, thanks for this contest. Uh, uh, thank you for, you know, the friend you have been over the years. Uh, it has really made a difference and made enriched my life. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Be kind to each other. Be blessed and be back.